Here's the Isle of Lucy DVD collector set that I just purchased at Target and Barnes & Noble just recently. They all came out on October 9th of 2012. So they're basically just repackaged versions of the original DVD box set that they sold back in the mid-2000s, which later had a complete series set in 2007 which has been you know overpriced by other stores including Target so I end up getting this set just recently since Target was selling all seven of them for a lot less for about fourteen ninety nine each though I did buy half of the series for ten dollars when they had a sale and one of them of course which didn't have the slip cover was only nineteen ninety nine that I purchased at Barnes and Noble so this is the actual set that I purchased, so here it goes. Starting with Season 1, which happens to be one of everybody's favorites, including the Buy Me a Benjamin episode. I mean, <laughs> who wouldn't forget that? That's one of my favorites, too. It's a very good set right there. has all the episodes, 35 and all, uncut. This is what the DVD looks like, and I'll show you, show you right here. On, on this set, just uh, move around. This is what it looks like. Yeah, they all come in all. Yeah, this one had six discs in here. I know the original set had seven, but this was the only way they can convert all these episodes into it. it has all the special features all together, and. And it's a very awesome set. They're all gray disc that they sold here because I know the original set had all these uh, still images of the series. So this is more than what you bargained for. But it's, it's very nice to have on a clear DVD case that's hard press and can hold all the discs that they can handle. Because you know, they really had a perfect uh, deal with all these sets right there. I really love that. I'm just glad I own them now. Now leads to the second season, of course. One of the biggest of all was the episode known for the fact that Lucille Ball was was pregnant later on. I know they didn't use the word pregnant in the series because that's been omitted by the censorship. It's a lot different back then in the 50s, so so you probably knew what censorship had to be about. But they had a lot of great episodes here, including the the job switching episode, you know, where, she, where Lucy and Elf work at a candy factory where they make all these chocolates. Very memorable. Also, had, um, Operetta, the handcuffs, and, and so on. But the most memorable episode of all had to be the episode where Lucy was about to have a baby. And yes, believe it or not, folks, that episode premiered at the same time Lucille Ball just gave birth to Desi Arnaz Jr. in real life. So you can tell from, from all these other episodes that she really was pregnant. But it's a good set. This one, of course, has the slipcover. As you can see here, opens it up. And voila, you can see the actual DVD case. Um, hold on, now I'm going to try to open it. Okay. A lot different from the other set. It just holds all the discs in there. Uh, one by one. And has all the episode titles everywhere. You know. It's really cool. Yep. Definitely a must own. If you really want this. And next up. Season 3, which has that famous episode, Lucy Tells the Truth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there were a lot of episodes, too, that were very memorable. But I'm going to get right with it right away. This is a good set. So I'm not going to show that many here, but that's okay. Because I'm just glad I own them. Yeah. Also, um, like the other sets here, there's also the back which has all the, 
the extras that they put in here. They tell you descriptions with the picture frames and everything. That goes the same with uh, this one right here, as well as as well as uh, this one. Hmm. Yeah. And of course, we had season four. Another memorable episode, they went to Hollywood because Ricky was signed for a screen test, about to make his own first picture debut with the new movie uh, about Don Juan. And since then, they've been meeting a lot of celebrities, including William Holden, had to be my favorite of all, it was when they went to the Brown Derby, just meeting some movie stars while eating lunch. And they just and they just met William Holden, which Lucy was <laughs> was right next to him on the second booth, and that's when disaster starts. <laughs> but it's a very memorable episode, and there are a couple others too um, that I really enjoy. Yeah. Season five is where they left off when they were still in Hollywood, which includes the episode with John Wayne. Uh, the episode, yeah, which happens to be the one where. Lucy was stealing John Wayne's footprints at the forecourt of the Grumman's Chinese Feeder, which later became Man's Chinese Feeder, which they were buried back to Grumman's until uh, a company called TCL, a Chinese television network, uh, purchased uh, the Chinese Feeder. So that's how it's called now. But anyway, this was an awesome set right here. A lot of memorable episodes, especially when, they, when they're trying to get back to New York. The, the Great Train Robbery, um, and then there were other episodes as well. Yeah. Very good one here. And finally, which happens to be the last one of the Idol of Lucy series before this one that's right next to it, is the complete sixth season, which happens to be the episode where Lucy meets Superman, which happens to be played by George Reeves. And this is also the debut of of Richard Keefe. I know his real name had a last name which I I have trouble pronouncing. But um but I'm just going to refer to him as as his stage name as Richard Keefe. But Richard Keefe took over for little Ricky that which that remains throughout the season of season 6 before the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour came out, which was originally titled The Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz Show. But this was a very memorable one of all because Richard Keefe was, well, well, he does have some trouble at times, but he was very good in, as Little Ricky. And yes, he actually does play the drums extremely well. It was just amazing. A lot of great episodes were on there too, especially the, the episode where they were trying to move from New York to Connecticut. And that's when they wound up moving to a country house. Yeah. And of course, they met uh, the neighbors, you know, and all that. And then finally, it gets to the last season, which happens to be the final ones, the the Lucy Desi Comedy Hour, which I know in syndication airings was known as We Love Lucy. And this was an awesome set, which only has 13 episodes. All in all. Four disc in there. Yes, all the extras here. Uh, the only problem, however, with this one is that um, while it is uncut in some ways, but not all the footages were included. So, because I noticed there were a few missing, but I think that was I think that was only the uh, the episode the the celebrity next door, the one with the little bank kid. So maybe that might have been. Uh, that kind of problem, but other than that, though, it's still a good set because uh, at least now you have the complete series right there. So, there you have it the entire series of Isle of Lucy. The only thing that's missing now is the two DVDs that they got released by CBS and Paramount, such as the Isle of Lucy the movie set which was actually a bonus disc that was included on the complete series set 
and of course the 50th anniversary special, which aired back in 2001 when they were celebrating its 50th anniversary, which has all of today's actors talking about the series. And it's which is of course a documentary. So I've yet to get both of them somehow, some way. But other than that, though, this is the complete set that I've owned. I'm happy I got them all for a good price because it was so hard to deal with. But I'm just glad it got released in this uh, decade of time. So anyway, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.